you're watching this this is your sign to start taking jesus serious and stop thinking that you have all the time in the world to do whatever you want and go party go drink fornicate do all these things because you know god i'll give my time to you later like i know you now but i'm gonna give my time to you later this book right here y'all this book changed my perspective of everything it's called a divine revelation of hell this woman went to hell with Jesus and Jesus gave her a revelation of hell for 40 days and in hell she saw a 23 year old boy who was there and Jesus tried to come into contact with him multiple times sent people to him all types of stuff he died going to or leaving from a party drunk and he was in hell and he was calling out for Jesus he was like Jesus like you know save me I'm sorry I want to serve you now but Jesus said I came to you so many times you thought life was guaranteed and it's not and it was so mournful because she even emphasized how jesus felt so mournful for the fact that he was there but he said i came to you so many times and you did not take my heed the principle here is you do not know how much time you have left you do not know when your time is up so when you sit here and say oh god i'll give you time later you know i'll just go to church sunday and repent y'all jesus knows our hearts anyway and our intentions we have to start living for him because your life is not guaranteed. You do not know when you'll be taken from this earth. And what you leave behind is what you're going to be judged on. So take that into consideration because I see so many Christians who are young who are like, oh, well, I'll just come to God later. Like, it's not that big of a deal, but it is a big deal, y'all. If you can ever find this book, please read it. It's not even to scare you. It's more so to show you that, like, Jesus wants you to be in his kingdom. He wants you to be there. Like, he tries and tries and tries to yearn for us, to get us to come to him. And a lot of us don't take heed to that. And we think we have time. And it's like, we are literally playing with the ticking of time and the value of time. So I just wanted to go ahead and say this because I see a lot of young Christians who make a lot of excuses and we can't do that y'all. Like we have to come to Jesus and give him our all. We have to lay our hearts down. We have to bow down to him and just surrender our lives because it'll be worth it in the long run like y'all we don't got many years on a planet but we have eternity with jesus so just think about that